Okay, take 110. What is up you guys, Dennis Garcia here. How the fuck is everybody doing? I am doing fantastic. Today it is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. And what a beautiful Tuesday it is. Let me tell you, the sun is out and it's shining. The weather is beautiful. And I'm also having a really great day because yesterday my brother and my sister-in-law all went to my second favorite coffee company. Now you guys know that my loyalty lies with Dutch Bros, but at the moment I am unable to get Dutch Bros. So I'm going with my second favorite coffee chain, the one that is currently employing me and paying my bills. Starbucks. <laughs> I went uh, yesterday and I grabbed a cold brew, salted cream, cold foam, and uh, honestly guys, coffee just tastes so much fucking better when you're not the one making it. Let me tell you, it is scientifically proven. No, but seriously, how has everybody's quarantine been? How's everybody doing? How's everybody holding up? I know that a lot of you in California and New York have had an extended stay-at-home shelter place on you guys because not a lot of people are listening to uh, our government in regards to like, you know, staying at home and not going out and not hanging out with people uh, in Arizona actually over the last 24 hours our governor Doug Ducey announced an executive order for us to also stay at home because for the last two weeks we have had a suggested stay at home shelter uh, order from the government but now it is mandated and mandatory because none of us can listen and we keep going out and congregating with people and hanging out with people and um, actually yesterday was kind of crazy from what I heard. A lot of people were flocking to the grocery stores and Costco's and Sam's Clubs of the world and buying in bulk again because people don't understand what an executive order means. So basically, a lot of people think that the executive order means that everything is gonna be locked down and everything's gonna be shut down and that's just not fact. Everything is going to be the same. We can still go out and exercise. We can still go out and eat and buy groceries and go to work and do what we need to do. We just can't do it with many people. And I think a lot of people got scared because they misunderstood what the executive order means. It basically means that we're gonna keep doing everything that we've been doing for the last two weeks in Phoenix, Arizona, but now it is mandatory that you do it. And it's not a suggestion. It's not like, hey, we suggest that you don't congregate with more than 10 people at a time or have parties or get togethers. Now it's like, no, now you cannot absolutely hang around people and congregate and do what we've been doing for the last two weeks because clearly that has not been working, which is why the governor has decided to place us in an executive order to uh, stay home unless we absolutely need to go out. I have been doing my part in keeping my social distancing. I have not been hanging out with people. The only people that I hang out with and see are my parents and my brother and my sister-in-law. And that's like once a week because right now we are all social distancing. My dad has a lot of health issues. My mom is paranoid and scared. And so I've been trying to just do my part in order for me to not catch the virus because even though I think I'm healthy enough to like get over it other people might not be though I have been hearing a lot of stories about young people like me who have caught the virus who have died and it's a little terrifying which is why I'm keeping my distance from everybody as of two weeks ago um, I don't know it's it's scary it's weird um, I don't know how how to feel about it um, I did go out with my family. Well, I didn't go out with my family. I went to my parents' house and we had a little like quarantine get together with like my mom, my dad, my little brother, my older brother, my sister-in-law, my niece. And we just cooked food. We sang on the karaoke, we got drunk. We just tried to have a normal night, I guess, to just forget about the craziness of the world. And before we go back to our prospective homes and isolate again, we just wanted to have like a moment to just be a family. And so now we're all back in our homes. I'm back in my apartment. My brother and my sister-in-law are back at their place. And my parents, of course, are at their place. And it's, it's, it's been weird. It's been fucking weird. Like I said before in a video, this feels like a fucking movie. It feels like we're literally in a really long movie that just won't fucking end. And I... <laughs> I'm not going as crazy as I thought I would. I'm not as scared as I thought I, I would be. Although last night, something did happen that almost gave me a panic attack. My phone 
service went out for about an hour. Apparently T-Mobile had a huge nationwide outage and um, a lot of our phones weren't working. The internet wasn't working. We couldn't text message. We couldn't call anybody. I was literally like freaking the fuck out. I was like, shit, we're going through a blackout and nobody's phones are going to work. And how the fuck am I going to get out of here? How am I going to order an Uber to go to my parents' house so that I know that I'm safe? Like I had no way of getting in contact with anybody. And so I texted my sister-in-law and I was like, hey, look, if in the event that we have a blackout and you guys can't reach me at all, just come to the apartment. I will be here. I will wait in the fetal position by the fridge with a cold brew coffee in hand, waiting to be saved. Just fucking come and save me. Apparently, everybody's freaking out and buying in bulk again, which is not good for people who live paycheck to paycheck like me, who don't have the cash to buy in bulk. So now I don't know what the situation is going to be for me. I don't know how I'm going to eat. Um, right now, I'm going to go to Chipotle because I've been good and not been eating out. I've actually been eating at home for the last two weeks. So I think I deserve a little break. I deserve a little treat. So I'm gonna go treat myself to uh, some Chipotle. I'm gonna go work out. And I'm just gonna go in and, and, and keep going like I have been going for the last two weeks. I've been social distancing. I still go out and work out. I just make sure to not be around people and keep my distance. I do have to go to Target eventually sometime this week and get some toothpaste and um, laundry detergent and I don't know what it's gonna look like but I will take you guys with me when I go because I'm vlogging everything I'm vlogging this whole entire situation until shit calms down and we can get back to the normalcy that is life which I don't know when that's gonna be there's a lot of people saying that um this whole thing is gonna is gonna keep going on till like the summer and that we're gonna hit our peak in April and May so it's only gonna get worse over, over the next couple of weeks, which is a little bit terrifying. I also have decided to not go to work until middle of April. Um, I got a text message from my boss yesterday and she was like, hey, so your two weeks are almost up. Do you want to continue until the April 19th, I think she said, or do you want to come back to work? And hearing all this stuff from the CDC and the WHO where they're saying that we're going to hit our peak next month, I was like, you know what? If I'm still getting paid to stay home, I will stay home because I am really afraid of catching this virus and I am not about to go back to work when the peak of everything is going to hit. Yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I just just wanted to sort of keep you guys updated on what is going on in my quarantine and my life and how Phoenix has been acting and behaving now with this executive order from the governor and it's not good I don't know why we just why we freaked out it's essentially we're doing the same thing we've we've been doing just now it's not suggested now it's mandatory that you do what was suggested to us over the last two weeks. I don't know, I'm just trying to find the uh, light at the end of this tunnel, but the light just seems to be so far away from this tunnel. <laughs> Aside from that, I will see you guys all in next week's video. Um, I hope that you guys are all taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're all having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one.